From the Sporting News Studios, this is the Fantasy Football Show with your host, Matt Litevsky. It's finally almost over, Eric. Thank God. This hellish facade of a fantasy season we've had. Yeah. It's done. And we can move on with our lives. I we can we take just, our winners back. Yeah, but I thought I thought today we were just going to talk about like holiday gift ideas and stuff. I wouldn't mind it. <laughs> I wouldn't mind it rather than talk about fantasy football, I'll tell you that. But we're here for the listeners, so we will talk about fantasy football. Fantasy football expert Eric Ferreira, official title. Official. Official title. I'm going to need you to carry me across the finish line today. That's, like I said, I've been doing it all year. <laughs> I'm not so going to lie. I can do it one more week. No problem. Or, uh, as always, we're going to get into the highest training players. We're going to get into the good matchups, the bad matchups, other fun stuff. But as we do every week, we start by looking back at things we got wrong last week. There was, you know, we were 50-50. Like we got every tight end wrong again. That's Obviously. just everything. Now we're, it's one of those deals where, you know, when you're when you're in like a pool and last yeah. place gets money. Right. We're just trying to screw up tight ends now. It all most feels that way because yeah we but it's i don't blame us i blame the I tight ends i never blame i us. mean we got some of the we got the bad ones right but we never get the good yeah. one because they're all bad the bad ones are low hanging they're fruit. all bad so uh although evan ingram did have a pretty good game yeah he's back to big play evan ingram. i think i i might have said he was gonna be all right if beckham was out maybe yeah you might have i might have sounds like something you'd say so because <laughs> it it's not rooted in statistical analysis no. so sounds like something you'd say statistics went away sometime around week six week yeah. seven yeah, it's all gut Going feeling from feel here now. on out. Going by so feel. one thing we got wrong, uh, we thought we both were convinced. We're like Joe Flacco is gonna, he won't start, but he'll be heard from. Yeah, he and wasn't. No, Lamar just in a rainy, which I, I probably helped Lamar Jackson that it was rainy. It wasn't a good passing game. It helped disguise his fourteen for twenty three for one hundred and thirty one yards. Yeah, he like, well, it was raining. He had a shot put or two in there. It was raining. But look, he ran for seventy plus again. You were kind of right with something else in that game though. Ooh, well, yeah. your Willie Sneed bandwagon. We just we had just put him in bed. You, we were man. like we were like. It's, it's Crabtree. Crabtree. <laughs> it's Crabtree, right? And now, and now, and Crabtree had well, he had no catches. I don't think I might yeah. have had one target. Not yeah. sure. It wasn't even uh, planned, basically. And Snead, uh, Snead led the team in targets and catches and yards. So, I think. So yeah. I think what Jackson's made five starts, something like that. Sure. All right. You don't even know. It's anything. probably on the internet. I don't know somewhere. anything. <laughs> uh, but Snead's been like quote unquote the guy, <laughs> which hasn't meant much. But I think he's been the main or the top receiver in three of those five. So I was. Do we have to go back right. to last week's I was recording? Always right. <laughs> Where you were talking up Crabtree, and I. I wasn't it talking him up, but yeah, you're right. You figured it out. But and now anyway, you're refiguring it so, out. So at this point, now I feel like we're lulled into a full sense of security. Now, huge game on the road, Saturday game, playing the Chargers. Could we see? Joe Flacco this week. You can see Joe Flacco any week, right? Well, yeah, I know. We'll Lamar see. gets hurt every game. How many well, games? Not necessarily hurt, but I just mean here's like the a thing. Planned how many couple games? Series. How many games can Lamar have 18 carries in? Just don't call him Lamar. You don't know him personally. Al Jax? If you want, Lamb that's Lamb? better than calling him. Well, that what? <laughs> no one calls him that. Call him Joe Heisman. I don't care what you call him. I call him Lamar Heisman. Right. Well, Lamar Heisman, sure. <laughs> well, you know, it's but it's not about getting hurt. It's like just is. Joe Flacco, are they going to have design series and then? No, if, I don't think that. I okay. Think, I so think, you think that which we kind of thought might happen is out, and it just all comes down to injury or poor performance. Yes. Okay. But I think it could be like, you know, two series injury. You well, know what I'm I mean? Sure. Because right, he gets hurt. Lamar Jackson better has a has a decent chance of getting hurt every game. Right. Yeah. You don't know him personally. All right. So another one we like Jared Goff, Josh Reynolds. We thought the Rams. Passing attack would really bounce back this week. The Eagles decimated by injuries in the secondary. And just another dud for Jared Goff. Mm -hmm. That's another weird one. Josh weird. Reynolds was what? It scored a touchdown and got called back. Well, yeah, I was going to point out, yeah. you know, because you were all about him. Mm -hmm. And, you know, he still had five catch for 70 yards. It's yeah, not terrible. I think and he led the team in targets. And he got, you know, basically got not tackled really, but right. like basically landed on the half yard line for right. the score. So, so. it's that close to looking like a great. Pick. Right. But it wasn't. Right. It's a game do, of do I get credit for that? All the people I told to play them like individually, 
in, in their minds, no, you definitely I don't. don't. Like, I don't they think still I do. think you're worthless. And I'm like, but in your mind, like the process <laughs> was there. Say worthless, but <laughs> yeah, the process was there. Guy mm-hmm. got guy made it to the half yard line. I mean, had well had a touchdown right and called back. Uh, Yahoo, it was reviewed. It was reviewed. Yeah, Yahoo f- sh- flashed it touchdown. I was right. paying attention on right. On I that. have a TV, and they called it a touchdown. Right, and then they do review all scoring plays. Right, yeah, I know. So I've seen a football game first, before. I don't know. You're watching them on Yahoo. What's that? Have well, you seen them? I was watching other things. What are you watching? On TV. I had the game on on like a what, smaller what, screen. What are you watching? It was another show. What, what, what show? It's it's not important. <laughs> what show? It was a different. It was basketball. It was Monday night. It couldn't have been the challenge. What was no, it? Was Sunday night. Oh, Sunday night. Yeah. So no, I wish it was the challenge though. All right. Once what I think. Okay, this is a weird one. So we we doubted Matt Ryan. I didn't doubt Matt Ryan. You didn't? No, I said he'll be fine. It's at home. The Cardinals, whatever. All right, I doubted Matt you Ryan. Did. Sorry, I tried to lump you in. Yeah. Matt Ryan was the only quarterback last week who had more than two touchdowns. That's so I I think cold weather, man. We know that December cold weather defenses. I think it's because now it's it's sil- it's serious season. Well, you know, <laughs> week fifteen. It's no, it's not silly listen, season. We've heard the narrative before. Silly season, right? Silly cold season. weather defenses figuring Step out up. offenses, game tape, mm-hmm. all that stuff. So yeah, yeah sure. And even listen. Matt Ryan, one of those was rushing. There's no quarterback last mm-hmm. week with more than two passing touchdowns. It's so nice to see Julio find in the end zone, though. But he's the one, yeah, scoring all he's the He's a good receiver again. Right. So this was another one I want to get into because I don't think we discussed it. But I discussed it. I, I saw it written. I discussed it upstairs with numerous people. Okay. There is this narrative out there. That the Cardinals, that Patrick Peterson Mm -hmm. shuts down a number one receiver. Mm -hmm. So you want number two receivers against the Cardinals. Yep. Because there were some people saying, we like Calvin Ridley this week. Yeah. Now, you did say Calvin Ridley no-no last week. Exactly. So maybe I did say it here. But but I was like, why? Why? If you look at the numbers, that's the opposite has always happened. It's number one receiver. And, and I'm not saying that's because Patrick Peterson sucks or whatever. Maybe he doesn't cover them all game. I'm not exactly sure. I haven't You're been not watching. watching all 22 I, of the Cardinals? No, I'm not. Steve Wilkes. God. What have done? Do you, like, do prep work for this? Yeah, I do. I some. I mean, I've already watched all my all 22 footage. By, I know. By you podcast watch, you watch every game. <laughs> yeah, we're doing it a day early, and you still got it done. But but the, the numbers don't bear that out. At all. Like, Cardinals are one of the best teams at limiting wide receivers this year in fantasy, by fantasy points. But it's not that narrative is not There's a lot of false narratives out there in the world. Right. So anyone who says that, but you make, it, it sounds good. Oh, yeah. It sounds good. Like, yeah. oh, we've got Patrick Peterson. Will be on well, we can make so. things sound really good. Right. We can make things sound real good. We can make us sound real smart. But that doesn't, uh, that doesn't hold us. And another weird thing about Matt Ryan, the number two quarterback in six-point passing leagues this year. Did, not did that, that shock you to find out, though? And they can't win. Right. What, did you know that before? I, I did not know Would that. Would you have guessed do you have guessed top eight? Yeah, I, I top eight. eight. Sure, that's fair. Yeah, but don't we? I feel like well, Philip Rivers has been way better than him. Drew Brees has been way better than him. Well, Brees hasn't done anything last. Well, three lately, weeks, exactly. Yeah. I feel. I like, would have said Rivers though. Rivers makes sense. Right. I would have said. I mean, even some other guys who who aren't don't seem to be having like like Aaron Rodgers isn't having that great of a year. But I'm like, man, but he's he doesn't turn it over. But he has lost some fumbles. He's part of that 250 and 2 crew. Right. Yeah. 250 and 2 crew. <laughs> Hashtag that one. Yeah. It's, it's not that catchy. But uh, so, yeah, I don't know. That's just weird. I feel like Matt Ryan is not a guy that I've, I've in my mind, viewed as an every week starter. The weirdest thing about that, and I know we don't really care about wins and losses here, like in the right. real NFL, is he's having that good fantasy season. And there, this is, I don't know, we have to look at the numbers. This is like the worst season the Falcons have had in yeah. a few years. Yeah, they've been bad. You know? Yeah. They've been really bad. And he's and it's playing like really well. Calvin Ridley's not great. You know, he's not having, he's had a couple big games, that's it. Julio knows how to score now. Right. I mean, Julio's been fine. Uh, Austin Hooper's had his ups and downs. And I guess for a tight end, he's been pretty good, but nothing special this year. Like, it's not, these other guys aren't having great years. Yeah. Like he's spreading it around. He's maybe that's also maybe some of these other quarterbacks. It's what we we, we kept talking about yeah. silly season and yeah. these crazy monster numbers yeah. and then well, golf slowed down, Breeze slowed I mean, down, majorly those two. Luck has slowed down. Yeah, even luck. Yeah, because like, but even with luck slowing down, I think if you'd have said who's having a better fantasy season off the top of my head, I'd be like, well, luck. He's he had three touchdowns in like eight straight games. He must be doing better than Matt Ryan. Right. And then no, sure mm-hmm. enough. All right. 
So that's uh, those are some things we were wrong about last week. Well, let's not get anything wrong this week. All right. Let's throw a perfect game. We won't. All right. Let's look at the highest training players of the week. We got a million injuries. We could really make this list 20 guys long because all the injured guys are about the same, but we won't go that. Now deep. you're getting to that point where they're just like, eh, out for the season. All right. So we're not going to Google them. We're going to we're gonna giga blast these guys. We're going to who? We're going to giga blast these we're gonna guys. We're going to what? Yeah, you heard me. Giga Type blast. Type in Gigablast. Wait till you see this website. Gigablast. Yeah. How does one spell Gigablast? Like it sounds? Yeah, exactly like it sounds. Gigablast. Yeah. So. Oh, it's an alternative way. (laughs) Exactly. Wait a minute. Gigablast by Matt Wells? Yeah. Have you ever seen a search engine? (laughs) (laughs) With an author? (laughs) Like like this guy. Yeah. You've probably seen him on (laughs) numerous TV and movies. He's on Shark Tank. (laughs) You Gigablast. He's on Shark Tank. So he's pieces of Gigablast. Uh, It's an alternative website. It is. Engine. It is. I like first choice web search. Right. Okay. It's into Soundgarden. It's News, into some other okay. <laughs> images, directory, advanced. Ooh, what's in our advanced? When you search someone, it shows little gears grinding. Search for first first box all of these words. Mm hmm. Okay. This exact phrase. All right. There's some good stuff here. Yeah. Real good stuff. There's also, I noticed, there's a, uh, they've got a spell check API. Mm-hmm. Most computers don't have spell checks, so that'll probably come in handy. <laughs> uh-huh. Yeah. Oh, he is looking for donations, though. What? So um, he says the world could use more than one search engine. Good point. And uh, if he listened to this show, he'd know there's a lot. <laughs> he'd know there are, He's way, we, there's we, way more than one, Matt Wells. We've given 16 alternatives. Yeah. 17 well, we might have doubled up a couple, but yeah, sure. Uh, anyway. Well, Matt Wells, this one's for you. Right. It's alternative. Uh, Giga Blast. Uh, yeah. So I was. By gi- Matt Wells. Yeah. I, uh, I was, <laughs> yeah. was Giga Blasting the shit out of these guys <laughs> last night. And <laughs> I found out. So we're going to just go off the rails. Interesting. Now or? Yeah, why not? Okay. Have you ever Giga blasted yourself just to see what comes up. <laughs> no, but I can probably do that by the end of this. Uh... All right, cool. So, first guy we'll talk about. Like I said, we I'm, I'm picking and choosing here. Yeah. This one is cherry picking. I'll be honest. Giga blast analytics aren't the most reliable, so I had to. I had to really. Sorry, I'm giga blasting myself. You right blasted now. yourself. I like the little loading wheel. Mm-hmm. That's uh, classic. Yeah, I'm not any of the top. Top me's out there. That's weird. Apparently, there's some doctors that are Eric Ferreira. I should impersonate. I wish them. I was them. He's a identity fraud too. Yeah, Get ahead in life. I didn't know I could be a doctor. Yeah, you could be. All right. Uh, it's the first guy. We'll just oh, Aaron Jones. He's a guy who got injured, and it's more so about Jamal Williams than him. So Jamal Williams, I I feel like probably on on this podcast we were like Jamal Williams sucks. Yeah, I actually have that in my notes. Right. Williams sucks. Right, comma. But so last week he scores a touchdown and looks pretty good against the Bears of mm-hmm. all team, and now it's like, oh man. Jamal yeah, Williams, week yeah, 16, yeah. watch out world, pretty good matchup against the Jets. I love that like all these guys I drafted for various reasons who didn't do anything right. all season now have jobs or are playing well. Yeah. Like Williams drafted, now he's going to bring back, someone baby. to the Super Bowl. He's back. Marlon Mack, two TDs last week. Right, well, but he's been pretty good all year. Mm, and a little okay. low, but yeah. it's not his Dalvin fault. Dalvin Cook's great now. It's not all his fault you're out of the fantasy yeah. playoffs and thus can't use him. But yeah, Delvin Cook, he's a good one. Lenny Fournette, though, going down the down the tubes. We'll get to him in a bit. So, Jamal Williams, this is the big, I think Jones is out for sure, probably out for the rest yeah, of the year. And Ty Montgomery's been traded, so really there's no one else He's in the town. game in town. Yeah. Playing the Jet. Now, this team, you know, Aaron Rodgers says now he has a groin injury in addition mm. to the torn ACL. <laughs> and <laughs> the question is, Jamal Williams, is this guy a viable play, or is this just, yeah, he scored against the Bears, but you don't get fooled? <sighs> He's going to get touches. Mm-hmm. And backup running back. Garrett Blunt tore up the Bears, too, remember? Yeah. Some about Maybe they're not good backs. against backup running backs. They must, they yeah. must, they must so focus specifically on that game focus on the starter. On the starter's uh, he's tendencies. He's going to get touches. So, look, and they throw him a little bit. So right. it's not like he's not in the passing game. He could get a one yard run, I guess. It's the Jets. It's the Jets. <laughs> get a one so anything, anything. Well, that's possible. just it. I feel like both these teams, obviously, they have nothing to play for. Yep. Um, you know, we're at the point in the season. Certainly it's, playable. It's better if both lost. But is he, because I think we ranked him like t- top 24, which is, you know, pretty good. It's certainly playable. Yeah. Sounds like a good running back. Jamal Williams is a pretty mm. good name. Yeah. Yeah. He sounds like a guy who should be pretty good. But but let's let's all be clear. He's not good. No. First right. thing, Williams sucks. But I guess he'll get the touches. Yeah. 
that's the kind of analysis you get from me. Yeah, it's, it's pretty good. Um, I mean, the Jets in week 13 held Derrick Henry to 40 yards. The and immortal a touchdown. Derrick Henry. And we know how good that guy is. Man. So legendary stiff arm Derrick Henry. Yeah. God, that. Like you were watching, yeah, yeah, another guy drafted. So you were watching Sunday, yeah, because that was a big game in Uh your pick 'em, big game in my pick 'em. So I was watching, uh, and it was just seven yards, seven yards. He looked good too. Like he (laughs) looked good. It wasn't. I mean, the Giants aren't great, but like he was making cuts. Oh, he was running people over. He had some speed. He flashed some power. Oh yeah, looked great. Spry through the hole. Deion Lewis nowhere to be found. He's gonna be fresh. Maybe Mike Vrabel smart like a fox, man. Because if he make if they make the playoffs, he's gonna be, be fresh. fresh. Yeah. First. Although now they're giving him thirty three well, carries. We have twenty one so. first half yeah. carries. So maybe he won't be. Yeah. They're gonna wear him out in four weeks. But uh, anyway, okay. Another guy. This guy's been on here three straight weeks. But uh, what's what's another one? James Conner. Okay. Uh, probably coming back this week. But mm-hmm. we kind of thought that last week. So who knows for yeah. sure? Tough matchup against the Saints. But a uh, boy, we made fun of last well, week. Well, I'll give you, man. I'll give him to you. We, we said Samuels he, was a game changer. We last said he week. ran like the, a, th- a number thirty-eight last week. He was running like a number twenty-eight. Yeah. 19, what happened? Nineteen for one forty-two. Two more catches for thirty yards. Didn't get in the box, unfortunately. Right. But looked faster. It looked like legit. I think he worked on his speed in, 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 in a week? week. Yeah, I think so. I know he was probably playing about two pounds less. I think. So <laughs> right. Yeah, you quick. can tell that. Uh, so it was. It was interesting. He looked legit. So the the real question here is, let's say Connor comes back. Do do you think there'll be any level of a split? Yeah. And there I has do. to be, I right? Think, I think Samuels will have a role. And Samuels is too I good of a receiver. He's a good receiver. This is a playoff team. Mm-hmm. Um, they probably want Connor oh, to be— maybe, maybe. Yeah, it's a playoff team since they won. They probably week, want yeah. Connor to be the guy, but right. certainly not— Someone they want to run into the ground before the playoffs. I right. think. I think they probably think they probably think Jam Samus is pretty good. He's earned at least a split to keep yeah. to keep Connor fresh. At least Tough matchup downs. against the Saints, though. Well, that's just it. It's our classic Saints. Now, Chris McCaffrey threw a touchdown against. He them. did. He did. A lot of. Can we look up how many like non quarterback touchdowns have been thrown this year? Uh, prob- I feel like it's been probably a lot. the same as always. No, I don't seems feel like it's been that many. I feel like it's a lot. Oh, how many? Who who off the top of your head? Well, Landry Beckham has multiple. Beckham has two. Uh, now we got McCaffrey. Right. Um, yeah, he don't got much else. Someone else. Landry didn't even throw the it one. though. Or was that earlier in the year? He oh, tried Landry to didn't throw get. It. That's right. Yeah. Landry didn't get one. So yeah. we're up to three. Right. And I think there were a bunch more too. <laughs> well, there you go. Yeah. Well, that proofs of the pudding then. <laughs> Thinks there's a bunch more. Uh, I don't know. Anytime one happens though, it feels like well, Chris Boswell threw one. That's okay. a big one. That's about the best That's thing the biggest. he's done. Uh, so, yeah, year. but McCaffrey did, you know, have 120 total yards, but he's also Christian McCaffrey. Um, that doesn't mean much for Connor and Samuel. So this, it's going to be tough not to play Connor in a game where teams should be going up and down. Uh, I don't think you can play Samuels if Connor is active, though, even in PPR. I mean, at tight end, maybe. Right, well, tight end. Tight game end, changer. maybe, just because we don't. But But even that is pretty risky. Yeah. Because we have no idea. Yeah. I mean, you're in the Super Bowl. You shouldn't yeah. be playing guys that are um, yeah. splitting yeah. You know, unless you absolutely but I mean, have tight ends, to. such dog shit that maybe you still play him and hope he gets five carries and four catches, and that's probably going to be more than if you played Trey Burton. Although he did show up last week. I've got an update for you. Okay. This just then a stat alert. All right. Beckham's got two passing TDs. Amendola's got one. Manny Sanders has got one. Danny Playoff Amendola? Danny Playoff Amendola. Albert right. Wilson's got one. Boswell. That's right. That's right. Uh, I'm sure Muhammad Sanu has to have Kevin one. Byard, safety from Tennessee, threw one on a fake punt. Okay, those don't count. Tariq Cohen. That's right. Christian right. McCaffrey. I mean, Tariq Cohen's a one-yarder, too, which yeah. is the, the rarest of the So rare. that's like So one, Muhammad Sanu doesn't have one, one yet? One, two, three, that's four, weird. five. Six, no, seven, that many. eight, nine. Nine. That's a boat, right, I would say. Nine. For most years. Nine. Well, and, and Sanu's getting one this week or next. So we're at that. You booking that one this week? I'm weekend? counting that at 10. All right. But Connor, I don't know. I mean, like I said, they're going to be going up and down the field. I don't, even though I guess both offenses have struggled lately, so maybe they won't. But in the Dome, we, we, we another thing we got wrong last week, we predicted a shootout in that game. In which one pass game? Right, and yeah. it looked like it oh, was yeah, going to be seven seven quick. Just boom, and like long drives, like yeah. oh, you know, the Chris Hogan long touchdown, and it was like, oh yeah, they ain't playing defense today, boys. And then it was just a complete well, dud. I feel like they, there wasn't 
a ton of. De- it was long drives. That just I mean, the Steelers, the Steelers played pretty. I mean, and, you know, some Boswell deep, I, miss. And I feel like whatever. the Steelers had the ball a right. ton, but I don't know the Brown time Juju on that game, didn't but. do much. You know, Brown got in the end zone at least, but you know, it was all Samuels running the ball. Yeah. No, what Patriot that mattered did anything? Edelman, I guess, was pretty good. He had like 90 yards on a bunch of catches. Yeah, seven, That's it. He had seven for nine. Gordon absolutely disappeared. Gronk. Yep. We won't even talk about Gronk. Poor, poor fella. He's R. so R. stiff out there. R.I.P. Uh, and the running, you know, Michelle. Michelle like didn't get a carry for like the first quarter and a half. Mm, time possession was even 30-30. Yeah. And Michelle Bur- finished with 13 carries, but there's far. Burkhead had like those three plays in a row. He ripped off 10 yards apiece. Yeah. But anyway, uh, so Connor, I guess if he starts, you have to play him because yeah. there's going to be scoring chances, but I don't feel yeah. good about him. We were wrong in the Stephen Ridley revenge game. That's true. Well, he had that big run when they were back up on the one-yard line to give him more breathing room. Maybe That was his revenge. That was it. All right, another guy, uh, Nick Foles. Nick Foles, mm-hmm. he's back. Yeah. Played well. There is Alshon no— Alshon Foles to Jeffrey was unstoppable. It was back on display, but here's the thing. You're in the fantasy Super Bowl. There's no way you need Nick Foles to start. Well, no, it's not about Nick Foles, and you're right. Especially, uh, you know, this week, the matchup against the Texans, not a good one. But it's more about the receivers. It's more about Jeffrey. So Jeffrey looked great. Golden Tate, MIA. Zach Ertz, one of his worst games of the year. Still had seven targets, though. So who are you feeling good about? And uh, And then, look, we can extend it to the whole offense. Josh Adams now, you know, Wendell Smallwood stealing the touchdowns. Who, who do we feel good about? I on mean, that you offense? still got to feel good about Ertz. I mean, right, for sure. No brainer, got to start. Sure. And it, has he gotten the record yet? Not yet. Because they're going to want to, they're going to get on that him door. record. Yeah. Uh, and I think. What you, record for the folks at home? Um, most catches by a tight end? Single season? Single season? Yeah. Okay. Most just, yards? Yeah. No, just catches. I think just catches. Catches over Witten, right? For the folks at home, yeah. Yeah. So. Um, certificate game? Might be. I, I'm not giving certificates oh, for well, certificate games. I think I was going to mention that last week. They talked about Drew Brees getting, I think he got all oh, he his got teammates, I don't know. Like footballs cola. or something. Yeah. But it was like, I think it was like all his teammates Everyone. from like all the years. It was something, yeah. It was something crazy. Yeah. And you, then the, the announcers were gushing about I think it. they were like special football or something, but I was kind of like, these guys are football players. They probably have a yeah, football already. I have like 10, yeah. maybe even. <laughs> maybe get them a watch. Yeah. Something they don't have yet. Well, they probably have watches too, but they probably have most things one would buy them. Probably. I always laugh about that when you're like, oh, so-and-so got his teammates beats by Dre headphones. Yeah. And I'm like, something every high schooler in America <laughs> seems to have, right. plus every athlete obviously already has. Right. But they're special ones though. Yeah. They're like m- wood grained and engraved. Right. And so right. I'm like, okay, cool. I mean, what, what I, do you? But what do you get a millionaire? You get you get your offensive lineman like sick Rolexes or cars, right? Anything below that, Barry Sanders move. It, yeah, anything below that, like whatever, right? You know, if you're if you're a quarterback or running back that makes a ton of money mm-hmm. and you're getting your offensive line something, as opposed to the poor quarterbacks and running backs, yeah, it better be a, it better be a watch or a car, right? Or a vacation. What about uh, spend some time? You together. go uh, you go Joey Tribbiani style and you get them. Friendship bracelets. <laughs> what was yeah. that? Remember? I don't remember. Yeah. But it, I think it was bracelets, wasn't it? Well, you got, it was some kind of yeah, bracelet. It, was a bra- it wasn't like a, a, a right. string one. Right. It no, was an no. actual like gold yeah. or silver bracelet. Yeah. yeah. And you call them J-Man and Chandy or something? Nah, I don't remember. But it's classic friends. Yeah, class, classic it's Classic Chandler. Bing and Bing and Biani. <laughs> All right. So. <laughs> Is that what you're calling them now? That's what I call Well, when, when paired with Bing. So, but Golden Tate. <laughs> I feel like could have a game, but at this point you can't even no. you can't risk it. And the Texans are good against receivers. Uh you can't risk it. The running backs, I, I think you still play Adams. He still had more carries, but it was I think fifteen to ten split. It was something like that. Yeah, like Smallwood had two TDs. Smallwood was involved. Yeah. They weren't like goal line TDs, but they were inside the at mm-hmm. least the fifteen, if not the ten, pretty close. I don't think you can play him, but it definitely sours me on. I Adams. still don't trust the Eagles at I don't all. Trust I know they, about they them. play well against the Rams, but yeah. I don't trust them. That's a weird game. Rams I give Jeffrey a shot. Stuff. Obviously, Ertz got to play. Everybody yeah. else, if you've got an alternative, Jeffrey Ertz, I don't trust anyone else. Same, same. All right, another injured running back. Again, we could talk about fifteen of them, but Frank Gore. You know, God bless him. Looks like he's probably done for the year. You're talking uh, about like this could end his career. I don't think so. I think the guy wants to play football. I, and plus, he seems like the kind who's going to end the career on his terms. Yeah. And what will his terms be? 
I'm tired. I'm gonna <laughs> stop playing football. But it's not an injury. I feel like he might have retired after this. Right, year. but now he's hurt. He's gonna come back. To and now a wrong. slight injury, he'll be back. But the most interesting thing, fantasy owners have been waiting. Canyon Drake owners have been waiting all year. Like, cool. Now my man's getting 20 plus. They just don't want to give him carries. Kalen Balaj, step up. They just don't want to. So they don't nah, want to run Drake. They clearly hate him. Yeah. Adam Gase. Hates and then they him. gave him the out to. They're like, maybe his shoulder. Maybe right. his shoulder can't handle the pounding of running. Yeah. Coach. No, that wasn't no. it. Wasn't going to give him the ball. <laughs> yeah, wasn't it? <laughs> was not Coach, injury Coach, really. are you sure? You yeah. don't want to maybe? Nope. Yeah. Why Why didn't uh, Kenyon get those carries? Was it injury related? It was not injury related. Nope. I'll tell Just you that. Just to be clear. <laughs> Next question. So, Balaj comes in, similar thing to Williams, just in the sense that he's playing a good defense, has a huge game, 75-yard touchdown run, finishes with, you know, 120, 123, something like that. So now we go into week, week 16. And playing the Jags, who I, are good on paper. We don't. I run. feel like we don't know anything about but, right. what Jags team shows but, up every week. Exactly. Rivalry game, though. <laughs> Is that Florida rivalry? <laughs> yeah, state champion. Oh, man. Well, it's the AFC Florida rivalry. Yeah. Winner gets Tampa in the Super Bowl. <laughs> yeah. But this is the state championship of Florida. Yeah, it right is. Here. It's a big one. This is like when the Twins and Red Sox play for the Mayor's <laughs> Cup. <laughs> Fort Myers. The yeah. winner of Fort Myers. <laughs> yeah, spring training. Uh, so, Kalen Balaj. Was not particularly good at Arizona State. But he was like a preseason sleeper, sleeper though. He, just because it was like, well, Who Fred ended Gore, up sleeping all season. All season. <laughs> He's bi- So this is why I, I, I wrote this, that the Jags might see him and think, oh, my God, it's Derrick Henry all over again. Because he's 6'2", 237. Like, right. he's a big dude. He's not as fast as Derrick Henry. Doesn't have a legendary stiff arm, I don't right, think. Not like, yet. Like Derrick Henry. He's a big dude. The Jags might completely sleepwalk their way through this one. It, it, but he's not going to get every carry on. I mean, Kenyon Drake. Oh, but this is a stuff that like either ruins right. ruins your Super Bowl, right. Or you look brilliant, and you're right. like, I or the the poor loser is going right. to be like, I lost to freaking Kalen Balash. Kalen Balash and the yeah. freaking fans. So that's like Bowl. last year when my team was good and I was good, and I was in the, the championship game, and I started Mike Gillisley, who had been inactive for like. Eight straight weeks, but was it Burkhead? I think Burkhead got hurt, and the Pats were down, and it was like he and then he scored a touchdown. He had like fifty yards and a touchdown, and it was I. I was just walking around, proud as a peacock, uh, even more than winning. I'm I won with Mike Gillisley. I'll, I'll just say this, and the person I lost to still the first thing he mentions about that match is like, "Hey, you played Mike Gillisley against me." I'll just say this. When you're looking at your lineup this weekend, yeah, I mean, I'm not gonna come I'm out. Like, you can't you can't reach play play these guys that we're talking about right. if you absolutely need to. But this is so. What's interesting is I think we make the comment a lot. Like, I mean, if you're in the fantasy title, you don't need to play these a holes. Mm-hmm. Did you look at the? You probably didn't. But the the, the four people who were still alive in our league, mm-hmm. I looked at their. They, they were all playing assholes. Yeah. Like at least a couple. Like Robert Foster was started mm-hmm. and he went off. Darren Sproles was started, which was stupid. But here's the worst part. You know who he should have started instead of Darren Sproles? Mm-hmm. Zach Zenner, mm-hmm. which is just as dumb. ZZ Bottom? ZZ Bottom. He's got <laughs> – remember the, the SNL sketch, the uh, the John Bovey? They used to do an update. Uh, it was Sudeikis and Forte. As a as a John Bon Jovi Maybe, opposite band, Maybe. Maybe. and they were Maybe. they were John Bovey. Okay, and they said so. They were like, we have another opposite band, uh, A A Bottom, <laughs> and the song was "He's Got Arms, Doesn't Know How to Use Them." Wow. So every Some classic time, SNL opposite sketches. It was every so every time Zach Zetter does anything, I mean, it's got Forte written all over. Oh, it. Oh yeah, Forte Sudeikis gave it their all on that one. Uh, so, but no, that's the funny. I mean, there was like. Teams have crap bags. Yeah, they do. Even the teams. I'm in the just finals. saying, be careful. I'm look, tread lightly. Be careful. That's As Walter great, White, I believe, said, tread lightly. <laughs> that's just great advice for life. Be careful. Yeah. <laughs> but Caleb Balaj, I kind of like him. All right. He's just that dude. Right. And like Balaj is a cool, like, oh, it's the Balaj Barrage coming at what you if this like, week. Drake comes out and gets like 27 carries. This he week? might. Yeah. That's just it. He might, and it's the Jags. It's not good on paper. You playing Drake this week. Who would you? Okay, put it this way. Who PPR, would you play? Drake, Standard, Balage. Okay, I split the baby. All right. But I don't. I don't feel great about either. But no, at the same I time, wouldn't. Kalen Balage going for 102 mm-hmm. touchdowns. I'm like, yep, that sounds about right for Week 16. Uh, so that's a weird one. The other one I threw in. I don't think. I don't think many people are giggle blasting this guy. But I do think. <laughs> I. I want to talk about him because Alex, back when he was doing this with us, made fun of us for talking about this guy right. at one point. Well, but we played the long game. That's right. So Deontay Foreman mm-hmm. 
could be back this week. Right. Lamar Miller hurt. Who knows if he'll play? Now, Alfred Blue, you'd think, would be the lead back. Mm -hmm. Foreman hasn't played all year, torn Achilles last season. At best, I would say it's going to be a split. Like, I don't think Foreman's going to come out and get 20 touches. Yeah, I mean, Blue's got to get two-thirds of the carries. At least. I mean, Foreman's a guy... I really liked him last year. He looked, yeah, he looked, looked good. good, looked promising coming out of college. Then he got the stupid injury. Mm-hmm. We thought maybe he'd be back earlier this year. Alex knew he wouldn't come back no. this year. I mean, he knew it. He knew it. Um, Dr. Dr. Novick. Knew but, it. yeah, I mean, the guy's talented, but, like, Achilles, it's bad. It's bad. And, and the other thing that I think is telling is that um, – the coach isn't exactly like right. promoting excitement over activating this guy. Right. right. Like it's been like, well, like we'll see what we got. Yeah. And like, oh, he couldn't play last week. Like mm-hmm. when the coach isn't even when no one's excited about it, I'm not sure how healthy he is. And also, yeah, and it's just it almost feels like why even play? Like they're gonna make the playoffs, but why why play them this year, you know, if it's that dicey. But you do want to get a guy, especially this young, you know, more NFL reps. Right. So I don't know. But they, I mean, they need this game. Right. Big game. I mean, they're in the spot for a yeah. potential buy. It's on the road at Philly. Not easy. But it, but the point is with Foreman, so I can't imagine you'd be, unless we get information like, hey, Foreman's the guy. Right. I can't imagine, you're, you know, you would start him. But at the same time, just him being active could take away from Blue if Miller's out. I think right. that hurts Blue. Uh, and he's also a good guy to pick up for Keeper Leagues, Dynasty Leagues. You know I'm all about tomorrow. It's just this is the week, right? If you're out of it, oh, it's I've, just— Oh, this is the week. I've already— Rookie— I was making my Keeper pick up Caleb Milage because he's a good one, too. No, Why man. not? I spent my money on Darius Geis, who apparently— Oh, yeah. Had like Bigger, s- stronger, faster. Had like seven— Infections, and yeah. not even, but whatever. Yeah. And the point Alex is, Smith infections. Point is, I was you know what it is? It's the swamp in Washington. Yeah. It's a good thing we elected Trump. Am yeah. I right? Please, let's not. We got let's Obama not. out of there, and now we're good. No, I don't know. I'm just. I would say the opposite. It's just funny to say. Just stick to football. Right, stick to football. It's a good thing when Trump's out of there, though. Then we, the infections will go away too. Probably that way we got it covered. Now we hit them both. So yeah, uh, guys. Anyway, one. my point is I've been making yeah. keeper pickups since week twelve. Mm-hmm. So it's a good one. But it's a good point. Like if you're out of it, then you're in a keeper league. Really go make some pickups. Yeah, and uh, Deontay Foreman. Me, I just want him to have a good game so we can go back to Alex. We can just hold Alex down and yell at him for right. how stupid he was. That's right. That's what we'll do. Players don't come back from injuries. Yeah, ever. All right, enough, uh, enough giga blasting. Let's get to the good and bad matchups, and uh, we'll start with quarterbacks. A uh, bunch with good ones. I feel it's the same guys every week. Yeah, we got That's a revenge a, game though. We do have a revenge game. Leading off revenge mm-hmm. game, Mayfield versus Cincinnati. Yeah, that's right. He, him versus Hugh Jackson. He's yeah. already lit them up once. Also, Ohio State Championship. Yeah, that's a big one too. Uh, <laughs> Bragging rights. Dak Prescott versus Tampa. Uh, Mr. Trubisky at San Francisco and Josh Allen at didn't didn't run a lot last week, but still I two touchdowns. First official game. time on the list for Josh Allen. We've talked about him. Yeah, I don't think his name has been him. typed on the list yeah, though. We talk about him a lot, but yeah, at New England. Uh, and then the bad, your boy Tom Brady, Jim Nance's boy. We'll talk about that later. I'm just gonna warn you. Just be careful about the Brady get right. Like game. I said, it's just be careful. It's. Good life advice. Be careful. Tom Brady. Mr. Cool. Look. <laughs> Tom. Mr. Cool coming home against Buffalo on a two-game losing streak. I wouldn't bet against him. I wouldn't bet against I wouldn't bet against the Pats, but I don't know if I'd bet on Tom Brady having a big fantasy day. Well, but 252. All right. He's uh he's at home against Buffalo. Jared Goff ugh, at Arizona. James Winston at Dallas. Phil Rivers versus Baltimore on a Saturday. Lamar Jackson at the Chargers on a Saturday. Uh, How do you feel about those Saturday games? You like them? Don't no. Like them? Don't like them? I'm not a fan. All right. There's no Thursday game this week. Why? There's no reason not to have a Thursday game this week. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Um, not that I like the Thursday games, but I like Thursday games better than Saturday afternoon where I forget about it. And what then I'm like, oh, yeah, crap. What else are you doing on a Saturday afternoon? Oh, I'm going to be in Fargo this, this, this time around. Yeah? Doing too. cool stuff. <laughs> Probably not. So, Mayfield, Prescott, mm-hmm. Trubisky, Allen... Again, fantasy championship game. Who do you feel? You feel good about any of them? Mayfield. With your season on the line. Mayfield. I like Mayfield. 
I mean, at home against a bad defense. Had four touchdowns against him in week 12. Maybe. He's the kind of guy, too. Like, we joke about the revenge game thing. Right. But he's the kind of guy who definitely plays with a chip on his shoulder. Mm -hmm. And game like that, he's probably going to look to run it up. And they're in the playoff mix. Yeah, technically. Yeah. So they got that going for you. Get in the mix. That's, That's right. Technically being in it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, I like Mayfield out of those guys. Mm-hmm. Um, I like Trubisky. Yeah, Trubisky's fine. That could be a game where it's great, like they run. They uh, it's like dominated by the running game. Like I, it, you know, it's funny for a guy who's had a six touchdown game. Like he's had huge games, but it doesn't feel like he's a guy who's gonna have a huge game just because yeah, they run probably so find much. It, the, again, Allen. Allen's gonna find his way to stats at New England. Feels that way. I'm sure he's gonna run. Two touch. I mean, Robert Foster is apparently legit. He's fast. Four, four of the last five, he's had at least 94 yards, 300 yard games in that span. Yeah, Allen's gonna. I don't know if you can play him, but right. Allen's gonna find stats against the Pats. Yeah, I think I agree. Uh, Prescott, you know, has the best matchup. He's at home. Or, you know, maybe Mayfield's a better matchup, but pretty close. Uh, I don't know. It's funny. This is a guy we all love, or a lot of people loved him after that huge game a couple weeks ago. And now it's back to, like, uh, I don't know. Like, Just worried about them, you know, running the ball yeah. so much all over a team. He, and apparently, but not him running. No. You were complaining about them not well, doing zone read. A couple years ago, I feel like, and, and it came up this weekend, I think it came up with Russell Wilson, I think, in their game, yeah. I noticed. came up definitely with Prescott more than once. Yeah. Third and one. When you've got a mobile quarterback, mm-hmm. used to be read option, run pass option, whatever, yeah. and like they're going deep. Yeah, like Dak Prescott going deep on third and one in a must, not only a must, not not so much a well, yeah, must win game, but like a half must, half. a must win like drive, right? Right. Like that game for for you know it ended up being twenty three nothing, but it was seven nothing for yeah. a while. They're throwing away point. They need scores. It's third and one. Well, and especially when he wasn't passing the ball particularly well. Third and one, fourth and one, and you're going, listen, straight deep crosses. Listen, straight handoff to Elliott. I'm not going to complain about that in third and fourth and one. But passing plays, when you've got Dak Mm -hmm. and Elliott who can run some sort of run pass option or read option, I don't know. I I don't understand. Right. Run a simple play. So rank rank the four. Um, I'll go Mayfield one. Agreed. I'll go, I'm going to go Josh Allen, too. Mm, I go with the old Trubisky. Then Trubisky, then Prescott. Okay. I go Trubisky, Prescott, Allen. I, I agree with you. I think I think all four of these guys are going to do pretty good. I really do. So the, the real question is, do you play him over Tom Brady? Mm-hmm. I say yes to all but, well, I say definitely yes to Mayfield, Trubisky. Allen and Prescott, I'm, mm, but you know Buffalo, fewest fantasy points to quarterbacks. Right. And I totally the whole thing about Pat's two game losing streak back at home, Buffalo, like they go off. I get it. Brady, though, one or fewer touchdowns in what, five of the last seven games, something like that. Like it's really he's not doing much. He just isn't. The weapons don't look good. How's the weather looking in New England this weekend? I think it's fine. December? Yeah. It's going to be about 40 degrees. How's the weather looking in Ohio? That would be the thing. I think like, it go, should be pretty nice all weekend, I think, in most of these I places. go Mayfield over him. To be honest, I don't think I'm starting Prescott, Trubisky, or Allen over Tom Brady. It's in tough, but what's he done? Like, we had the same thing with Rodgers last week. I know. And, I mean, granted, the Bears are a better sort of overall defense, but even it, if Buffalo allows you But it's situation so right? Like, like, no, it's true. We talked about benching Rodgers last week. I was right. fine with and it. Like, should've. on the road at Chicago. Yeah, I agree with it. But sometimes you look at situations, and, again, two-game losing streak— must win game, coming home. Scott's got a lot of pride. But don't you feel like they can just run all over him? He can, but even like Michelle hasn't been running that great. Hey, Burkhead, man. Brady's Brady's safer than oh um, Allen's safe. I don't think too. he is. I don't think he is that safe. Well, Goff's another one. Really struggled in a good matchup last week. It's one thing to struggle at Chicago when it's cold, but the home matchup against a decimated def- uh, pass defense. Yeah, that didn't look good for him. Now he's facing Arizona, who's one of the fewest fantasy points allowed, although mm-hmm. Ma- Iceman just got three touchdowns against them, even yep. if it wasn't a huge passing day, but they are back at home. I, I have always, I mean, we've been saying all year, like, oh, that offense is matchup proof. The loss of Cooper Cup has really mattered, apparently. apparently yeah. Todd Gurley's banged up. Yep. Do you even know their backups? Uh, used to be Malcolm Brown. Right, he's hurt. He's hurt. So they have two dudes who have, like, the same types of names. Mm-hmm. It's I think it's John Kelly and oh. Justin Davis. Oh, yeah, John Kelly was, like, he was a deep, deep, deep preseason sleeper as a handcuff. Yeah. 
I forget what school he went to. Is he USC or Tennessee? I one's think, USC, I, one's I Tennessee. I want to say Tennessee because I think my friend went to, who loves yeah. Tennessee was talking about Justin Davis. No, Justin Davis, USC. It's Kelly, Tennessee. Yeah. Yeah. And John Kelly. So these are the same dude, right. just with slightly different names. Right. Uh, I, I think Gurley will play, but the point is he's banged up. It's, I don't know. It, it, it's weird. I, I would play golf over Brady, but I still I think I'd play Mayfield over him. I'd play Trubisky over him. I'd play Brady over golf. An interesting one here is your boy. You don't like climate control. Your boy yeah. Phil Rivers. Okay, so because he's playing the best defense, he uh, is out of these five in Baltimore. But it's a front running defense that's had a lot of I good know, matchups. But they play Mahomes well though. Yeah, that's what scares me. Yeah, but Rivers yeah. has been pretty match proof. So, two touchdowns at home in all but one game this year, at least two. But is he going to be without Keenan Allen? That's a big thing. But didn't matter on Thursday night. But on uh, on the road, but against a softer D. Right. This is at home against a better D. For some reason, in my mind, the Saturday thing matters, but I don't okay. think it does. Why does it matter? Which way does it matter? I don't know. <laughs> it just matters whatever way you want it to matter. <laughs> One last day for Keenan Allen to get healthy. That's solid um, analysis. God, if they only played a Monday game, Keenan Allen would be fine. But, the, I mean, Mike and Tyrell are pretty good. By the way, uh, well, we'll save it for that, that section. I think you got to start Rivers. I just don't know how you bench him. Like, a, a comp- with, for one of these guys, even the good guys we mentioned. Right. Like, yeah, if you have another really good core, which you could, if you have Andrew Luck. Yeah. Yeah, play Luck. Man, I, I, I feel play. like Mayfield, though. Like, I really feel like there could be a little silly season in that game again. Could be. Cincy. Could be. I agree. But, really, yeah, Rivers is so steady. And if Melvin you Gordon think comes back, gonna let up? throws. No way. No way. I mean, he's. He's not the coach, but yeah. all right. So, and then Lamar Jack. I mean, Winston. I, we. I don't know. Don't consider him. They've really struggled the last couple games. Yeah, I'm not. I'm. Yeah. Whatever with him on and, the road. And Lamar Jackson at the Chargers pass. I think he's going to do what he always does, yeah. and it come down. Does he get the second touchdown? And even then, he has a a, a ceiling. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So that's where we we stand on that. I don't like golf. Sounds like you like him. You don't like him either. I don't love golf. You I like play Brady, Brady more than me. Yeah. I like Brady over golf. I'd put Rivers at the head of the bad matchup group, and I would put him ahead of all the good matchup guys just because I trust him. I trust that team. I tell you, the that guy that's interesting, like I said, I, like Josh Allen. It's, Josh Allen at New England. He is. He's interesting. Running around. He's, maybe he's, garbage time, too. Like, there's a lot of factors that can make him Lots of things could happen in that game. Good game for him. Right. But, but okay, but why why doesn't your whole two-game losing streak back home, why doesn't that apply to the defense getting geared up? Because the defense mess? isn't like, that good. When has a rookie quarterback done well against Belichick? <laughs> That's true. On, in a, in a desperate— It's not a desperation game, but you know what I mean. Like, a big game. Yeah. So that that would be my pause. So the Josh defense Allen. isn't that good. Would be my. <laughs> oh no, that's fair. Would be my. Uh, it's a rookie quarterback. Yeah. Be- not a rookie anymore. Be- not in week sixteen. Be- well, that's fair. <laughs> Belichick messes up rookies in New England. He does. Like he even I meant the stat when they played Mahomes, who's technically not a rookie, but like they had, there was some stat I saw it was like quarterbacks twenty three and under mm-hmm. at New England, and it's like they don't fare well under thirty two degrees. Right. Yeah, it might have been that. Might have been thrown. Mahomes obviously did fine, but. Uh, all right, running backs. Leonard Fournette. These are the good matchups. Leonard Fournette at Miami. The this Pats another guys. Funny one. This, this is another funny, like Kenyon Drake one. The Fournette one. One second half carry. Okay. So, and you read that was quote unquote planned. Planned. It was to limit his carries. Sure. And got uh, to it. Week sixteen and, for non playoff teams. And and they they wanted to see they wanted to see what David Williams had. I mean, got to see that. Why? Why not? So Fournette, running back of the future. Fournette's a Dude, second year running that's, back. I feel like people forget that. Doesn't it seem like he's been in the league like six years? He's a second year back. Yeah. You traded for Carlos Hyde. You've got someone who's okay in TJ Yeldon. Right. You've got someone who's Juice. even Juice Yeldon. Juice Yeldon. You've got someone who's even okay in Corey Grant. You got to see what I think Dave, he's out. But yeah. well, he is out. But I'm right. just saying, like Ross or right. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah. You've got guys at that position. No, we got to see what David Williams has got. Right. Are you serious? No, right. that's that's absolute lies. There's some other reason. A lie? There's, wow. There's some other reason. Called him a liar. That Fournette had one second half touch in a one score game. In a game they were leading right. at times. One carry. You just entered the Marone zone and called him a liar. Well, there's no way that that's true. By the way, I'd have fired Doug Marone before the post game hand, handshake. You lost at home to Josh Johnson. Right. No, beat it. It's not even about the You're L. Done. You're done. It's about the process. We've talked about this every week here for fantasy. Yeah. It's about the process. Leonard Fournette, Sugar Ray Leonard Fournette, yeah. one second half carry in a game you're winning? Right. 
I'm sorry, it might not be a lie, but he's not telling the truth. Okay. <laughs> Okay, I like that. Uh, that's what. So uh, uh, we'll get. We'll anyway, get, that's that. We'll get back to that. Sony Michelle, James White, and I guess Rex Burkhead against Buffalo is a good matchup. And Jamal Williams at the Jets. We already talked about him. You can throw Elijah McGuire in uh, at uh, at home against uh, Green Bay. I like him too. Yeah, throw him in there. He's scored twice. He's had. I mean, a ton of carries. He said. I mean, he's had a ton of touches. He's the lead back. That's the kind of guy you want to see what you have in. You want to see yeah. what you have in Elijah McGuire. Right, because, you know, Isaiah Crowell's not He's your not the future. future. You want to see if you got to, what kind of pick you got to right. burn on one. So, yeah. yeah. yeah you want to see what you have in Elijah yeah. McGuire. Yeah. Who so. sounds, by the way, not like a running back at all. What's he sound like? The end? Not a football D-tackle? player. D-tackle? Maybe. Oh. Maybe. maybe a, yeah, I can see a D-tackle yeah. being Elijah McGuire. Yeah. All right. So, of those guys, so Fournette's obviously the most interesting. Mm-hmm. So I know he's limited in practice with the ankle. I wouldn't be shocked if he was inactive. I, Why not? Knows? Yeah, who knows? It's all at this point. With Doug Marone. Who knows at this point what's going to happen with him? But if he's active, Miami just torn up by Dalvin Cook. You not good. I am. You, ha- you have to. Yeah, you, you have, have to. to. Yeah, okay. you have to. You have unfortunately, to. right? All right. Now I agree. But where? I mean, wait. It was RB two. I yeah. think. I don't well, think he's probably be been an RB two since he's. Well, he was Come really back. good right away, and then he just sort of got the suspension. And fa- I mean, you remember that game? It looked like he was going to score four touchdowns. Yeah. It's the curse of being on my team this year. Yeah. But you know what? Miami made my boy Dalvin Cook look good yeah. last week, so, so they'll probably make Fournette look good, too. Maybe. Uh, so that's a weird one, but yeah, you got to play him. But- or it's going to be the David Williams show. Well, that's just it. If he's inactive, <laughs> who even knows if Hyde would be active? He was scratched last week. What if he's inactive, Hyde's inactive? David Williams is starting running back. Do you play David Williams? <laughs> wow. Do you see what you have in David Williams? Yeah, definitely. 100%. In fantasy title <laughs> games, do you want to see what you have in David Williams? David Williams. God, you can't play him, but I don't know. I think if if those guys aren't active, I, I would be – I think you'll have a big game. Uh, the Pats back. So Sony Michelle, like I said, I don't know if he had a carry. David, David Williams, you would know this. David Williams isn't – that's – Real world David's name wasn't Williams, was it? David Edwards. Okay. Well, there's been multiple Davids. Are you talking about the LA? Got I'm talking about out for come on, be my baby tonight. Oh no, no, no. That's um, that's uh, Dave. Oh sh- shoot. But he's got a basic last name like that, right? Yes. What is his name? I know it too. Now I got to look it up. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna giggle blast him. Giggle blast him. Let me giggle blast him. I mean, this is very important. Yeah. But, uh, I'll keep it going. So you, you <laughs> David Edwards was uh, the one who got kicked out of the house. Season in real two. one? Oh, it's two? Yeah. yeah. The Tammy. Tammy, incident. yeah. Um, bad matchups, though. I mean, mm-hmm. while, you're, while you're giga-blasting? Yeah. Bad matchups. Niners, guys. David Broom. Oh, okay. That's not... David Broom. It's not a yeah. basic name at all. And he was on Chappelle's show singing that. You remember that? I don't know, yeah. but anytime I can hear that it's song, great. it's all great. Right. Bad man. Okay, well, we didn't even talk about the good ones. Michelle and White. Right. So Michelle wound up leading the team 13 carries after, uh, like, I thought he might have been phased out of the offense he for a while. so weird. There's carries yeah. where he looks really good, mm-hmm. and then I look at the stats every week, mm-hmm. and it's maybe he's lucky to get 13 for 55. Right. Uh, so then James White... Not part of the offense. I feel like he could show up. Are they just saving him for the playoffs Probably. at this point? Probably. So do you Super start MVP, him? So. I mean, in PPR, I don't know how you don't start him because yeah. he just has that upside. Michelle, you ha- I think you have to start as an RB2 because mm-hmm. a good matchup. Yep. But, man, I don't feel good about either of those guys. I think Michelle be all right. Yeah. Because he's still the lead back. Burkhead's still this secondary. This could be just a monster running game. Like I get said, right. I, don't, get right game I don't trust... Brady. So if they're gonna win, which I think they're gonna win, then it's then it's Michelle. Yeah. And and other running backs. Um bad matchups. 49, you know, Matt Breda or Brida in uh Breda injuring himself again. Ankle injury aggravated it late in that he's game. He's fast though when he's not injured, I know. He's noticed. good. He's yeah. good, but I still think he can be healthy. Uh they're playing Chicago. Adrian Peterson, who outside of that 90 yard <laughs> touchdown run, hasn't done anything yeah. for five, six weeks. Yeah. Uh, he's at Tennessee. I've just shut down Barkley. Uh, Falcons. Hit a Tevin well, Coleman sighting last week. Well, and now the judge, Edo Smith's on IR. So it's going to be all Tev this week uh, at Carolina. And then the Eagles backs, Smallwood, Adams, fill in the blank, at home against Houston. Do you like any of those? Uh, just Coleman situation. I think, well, I think Jeff Wilson Jr. plays for the Niners. He had a fumble, seemed to lose confidence, then came in late and looked okay. Um, I, I, I'm not in a rush to start anyone really against Chicago. Not at um, all. Um, nope. Peterson, man. Nah. Uh, Coleman, I mean. Yeah. I, he's I the think, only game in town. 
He's the only game in town. Carolina's D is pretty good, but it's not. It's pretty good against the the, the run. It's not unstoppable. They're probably going to give up next week. Saints, At, last night was their Super Bowl. Yeah, and they lost. So well, Cam had the cleats. <laughs> what were they? Let's talk about Cam's broom cleats. Uh-huh. So I will talk about it later. <laughs> All right. Talking about sweeping teams before yeah. you even beat them once. And when you're not going to make the playoffs. Right. But uh, scheduling quirk. How are you going to play two teams in your th- a team in your division twice two out of the last three weeks of the season? I mean, it's happened. I mean, the I know, but it's criminal. That should never I happen. Mean, the Seahawks and Niners just played two out of the last three. It should weeks. never happen. No, nah, I don't understand why they do it. I but you know what I hate even more the week one, week seventeen. Yeah, that's garbage. I too. hate that. But it too. should be like you should play your division yeah. games though, kind it's of at the beginning out. and kind of at the end. Yeah, I but agree. it doesn't have to be the beginning and the right, end. Right, I agree. Uh, so yeah, when Ted's the only game in town, I think you got to yeah. play him, even though it's on that slow Charlotte grass. Yeah, no one says that. We hear fast turf all the time. Yeah. No one says the slow grass. We've taken on a lot of rain. Yeah, rain lately. We, we hadn't. We talked about a lot of weather last week. Talked about our snowstorms. There's so some hot weather. It's snowstorm. It's still a little and, uh, soggy. I don't, out there. I don't like the Eagles guys at all. That just now the Josh Adams thing. Them. It seemed like it was going to be fun for like a week. Yeah. Maybe two, and now it's. I don't think you build. trust them, Peterson. So I would play, you know, Jamal Williams, Elijah McGuire. I would play them over Peterson. I would play them over. We'll assume it's Jeff Wilson Jr. Yeah, I play them over Adams, not Tevin Coleman though. Yeah, I agree. Um, and then, uh, I mean, I want to see what, what we have in David Williams. Me too. I'm, you know, I'm not going to start him. Me too. All right, wide receivers, good matchups. Uh, well, Demarius Thomas, who's getting targets. It hasn't really done a lot. Yeah, because he's not that good. But DeAndre Hopkins tweaked ankle. Whether or not he plays, I assume he'll play at Philly. I still like Demarius Thomas. That's a good matchup. Robbie Anderson has been really good lately. At seven targets a game. Looks like the number one again. Another long game play. Yeah, uh, at home against Green Bay. I, mean, I think he's so good. So many guys who hurt fantasy teams all season. Yeah, like we're drafted. Like coming uh, up now. Our favorite on the list every week, <laughs> Corey Davis. It's never a middle matchup for him. It's either good or bad. Yeah. And then he does and the you opposite. Don't know, yeah, you don't even know what you're going to get. From so him. at home against Washington, Saturday game, Saturday afternoon game. Okay. Now he had a great college career. Exactly. So he ready to play on Saturday. Got to remember, still got to get two feet down though on the sidelines. Still on got Saturdays. to. Got to. Uh, but good matchup. I know when I used to play pickup football back in the day, that what day we played on determined the rules. Mm-hmm. We played on Saturdays. It was one foot. Is down. that true? Yeah. Oh wow, that's. I played I a lot like of pickup that. football as a kid. On Sunday, yeah. people would be like, "We gotta get one foot down." I go, "It's Saturday, one yeah. foot. We play right. tomorrow. It'd be two feet." Monday, right? Monday, two feet. Absolutely. Friday. Third. What's high school rules? No feet. <laughs> oh, All right. One uh, <laughs> catch the ball eight yards out of bounds on Fridays. Uh, Ridley, Calvin Ridley at Carolina, that's slow Carolina grass, and uh, Panthers guys, Samuel, DJ Moore at home against Atlanta. Let's start with them. Cam is sums wrong. He's cooked. It's bad. Yeah. To the point where those throws I almost last night they, were really bad. Dude, he was like closing his eyes they and doing like, full body they looked heaves. Like deflected balls. Yeah. And they weren't deflected. And it was oof. It was brutal. Yeah. So can you start them? I mean, it's a great matchup on paper. Yeah. I mean, listen, it's Atlanta, right? So mm-hmm. probably have to score that whole routine. They're not All a right. good D. Um, more like we've seen a complete. We talked about this last week, I think. A complete depth chart change mm-hmm. for the Panthers. Yeah, I mean, Funches Funches, is although like, they throw to him in the end zone. And yeah, gets well, picked up. barely, barely yeah. reach the end zone. I mean, I don't know. You got to get that one up. That's, oh yeah, that's what the catch that's radius it. is it's for. It's got to be either Funches or the front row. Right, can't be short. No, but uh, depth chart change. DJ Moore's the guy. But is he? He didn't Sam- do anything last no, night. Samuel's number two. I feel like Ian Thomas might be the guy because that's as far as Cam could throw it. Yeah, I mean well, McCaffrey's no, the guy. Yeah, McCaffrey's the guy. But, Man. Yeah, got to see the guy. But yeah, uh, yeah no. Uh, I mean, you can play more. I guess you can play more. I mean, they, they run with both those guys. Yeah, too. Samuel's a dart throw. Yeah. Samuel's a dart throw, but he, he's he seems he's to score scored. More. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, they're wide receiver threes, I guess. But man, I, don't, I hate playing wide receivers whose quarterbacks are clearly Jack. To bring up. it back from a guy earlier, you play you play Jeffrey over all the Panthers for sure. Uh, but you play the Panthers over Tate. Yeah, like just because of the matchup, but I don't feel I don't even feel good about that. Yeah. But yeah, I definitely do. I play Ridley over over all them. I play day. I play Davis. Play Ridley over over more. Yeah, I don't I don't trust I don't trust. Cam does look cooked though. He just looks cooked. And look, Ridley's good. Has the number two fantasy quarterback throw mm-hmm. to him. So I like Ridley. Davis. I mean, look, we talked about him a million times. I, I'm fine with him this week too. Take I honestly chance. don't know how you decide when you play Corey Davis. Uh, you don't. 
like for me it's like is your third it's just wide always or never like yeah. he should be your fourth wide receiver if you start three and he should play when your third wide receiver is hurt or on by <laughs> or yeah. on by right no i like Robbie Anderson this week i mean that's a classic though is Robbie Anderson going to have three good games in a row with Sam Darnold throwing that to game him anything could probably happen. not i feel like that game right. anything could happen so i think law of averages says don't play him but trends say do matchup says do so do with that what you will. And like I said, I like Demarius Thomas this week, but, you know, whoever likes Demarius Thomas. Not this guy. Right, bad matchups. Patriots, you know, we'll just say Josh Gordon. We'll isolate him there. Again, at Buffalo, totally disappeared last week. Uh, the Bucks secondary guy. So you're fine with Edelman? He just, yeah, because he just gets so many catches and always seems to produce. Even though he had some drops last week, but... Uh, yeah, so I, I, I don't really like Gordon, but he's another guy, Josh Gordon, right? Dart, it, kind of a dart throw. Yeah, just of, just over a dart throw. Right. But it just it, the bottom line with, with Gordon is he's not like that dude anymore. Right, but he does right. have great arms. Beautiful arms. All right, the Bucks secondary receivers, who I feel we talk about every week, too, mm-hmm. uh, at Dallas. I think we're done with the Bucks Humphreys, secondary receivers. Godwin, out. Yeah. Play yeah. Evans, that's it. Yep. Uh, I think we're done with those guys. Golden Tate, we've already talked about him enough against Houston, another rough one. And then these are the interesting ones, Tyrell and Mike Williams at home against Baltimore. Let's just assume Keenan Allen's out. So Mike was the hero last Thursday. But Tyrell, more targets, 12. Mike, I think, had eight or nine. Mike's got that red zone, though. Mike's the red zone. but here, So here's an interesting stat. Okay. Baltimore's allowed two 100-yard receivers all year. Okay. Wide receivers. Uh, in the last two weeks, both have been Tyreek Hill. Okay. That was an overtime game, but Tyreek Hill and Mike Evans last week. Okay. Big one, play guys. But one's big and one's small. I was thinking that's that was true. <laughs> now, both Tyrell and Mike Williams are big, but yeah. Tyrell's the faster, more right. big play guy. And Mike had the three TDs and the two point conversion, which kind of like, don't you feel like that counts like a TD, right? It does. Not like in score, for sure. But like in your right. mind. Right. And so. So you're like, can he have two weeks? Can not, he get two TDs this week? No way. After three and a half so TDs last week? To me, week? this is a Tyrell week. Big play. But I'm still going to go Mike because red zone. Sure. No, I get that. I like Mike. I get that, but I I just think Tyrell. And did you picture Mike Williams being a a reverse guy, Mm -mm. a handoff guy? They've been doing weird. There was one game this year where Keen Allen had four carries, yeah, and like forty rushing yards. So they've done some weird stuff with that. No, Ty. Well, Travis Benjamin. To me, Benjamin feels like the reverse guy, guy. and if not him, Tyrell. But so I think if Allen's out, both are wide receiver threes, just because that offense is so consistent, automatic. Uh, and I like Tyrell more, I'm but I take, totally get. I'm why. gonna take Mike, yeah. and I'm actually totally gonna say, get it because Baltimore is a real good D. I'm gonna say the yardage could be limited, but there still always be that red zone chance. Right. Well, I they give up big plays. Yeah. That's why I like Tyrell. Okay. But I get it either way. Um, and then if Keen Allen plays, I definitely like Tyrell more then. But I still I don't think I start him. I don't I don't know if you start either if Keen Allen plays. Pretty close. Yeah, it's so I mean, hard because you're like, clearly they like Mike Williams in the red zone. Yeah. But after three TDs in a week, just that whole low of average right. thing, you're four like. Four really, though. Yeah, three and a half. Yeah, really four. And even though one was running, like it's really two, yeah. but now we bumped <laughs> yeah, it up to four. Uh, so there's that. Okay, tight ends. We're not going to. Okay. The only like borderline tight end with a good matchup is Blake Jarwin. Right. Preseason. I remember talking about him preseason. Don't think we've talked about him since. He's had seven targets in back to back games. Listen, they didn't play well last week. Right. But he beasted a couple of yeah. like, first. Like he got he got hit two yards before the first right. down and then he beasted over the line. So I was yeah. like, oh, Blake Jarwin. All right. So versus Tampa, I kind of like him. Seven targets, back-to-back weeks. I don't mind them. Uh, A lot of really good tight ends have bad matchups. Gronk, Kelsey, Kittle. uh, But you got to play them. Gronk always shows up against Buffalo. That's from there, of course. Uh, But, yeah, but you still, you got to play them. But the one guy who might be on the bubble, bad matchup, Vance Joseph. So I guess here's the question. Vance McDonald. Vance McDonald, sorry. Yeah, not Vance Joseph. He's on the... He's on the hot coaching, seat. Coaching. Talking about Mike Shanahan coming back. Yeah, I know. Really, these teams can't find like, uh, younger Who would you play, Blake Jarwin or Vance McDonald? I still think you play McDonald. Probably, but yeah. yeah. Just because that game, like, how we say it every week with the Saints, the numbers are great against tight ends and running backs, but we're like, the teams are going to move the ball. Yeah. And the Steelers yeah. are definitely going to I mean, Jarwin's move the ball. interesting, but again, yeah. I, I could see them running all over Tampa. And yeah, for I sure. could see Dak attempting 18 passes. Yeah. Could be. All right. Let's get to the random stuff. Uh, 
Jimmy, I should have giga blasted this actually, but Jim during that game, the, the final drive in the fourth quarter. Yeah. Jim Jim Nance was just going Nance off, pants off about Tom Brady. <laughs> yeah. And at one point, I swear— Because it looked like it was going to be a moment. Right. Right after—like, Brady got a snap, and Jim Nance was like— Because you you mentioned he'd called him how cool he right. was. They went crowd shot. Right. Loud crowd shot. They were playing— Terrible towels. They were playing some kind of heavy metal. Right. They zoom in on Brady, like, under center and Just shotgun. Just calling the—directing the offense. And, you know, talking about how this is the moment. This right. is when, like, quarterbacks are made or something. And then Tom he said Br- something about— but this guy's cool or right. something. And then That's I, the last I heard. I swear a play or two later, he got the snap, and Nance was like, Mr. Cool, taste the snap. <laughs> and I was like, what? What's happening right now? You can't. Like, Nance wanted the Pats to score yeah. so bad. But is that something he wanted to be remembered for, calling him Mr. Cool mid-play? I know, but I just feel like he couldn't help and himself. And Romo's, Romo's giggling. And Romo's like, here we go! <laughs> Romo's giggling. His catchphrase, here we go. Which, you know, is a Pittsburgh thing, the here we go. Oh, is it? That's I like their song. That. I think that might be their hashtag. So, and Romo kept saying it. I don't really get might into have been. Pittsburgh hashtags. But. Okay. Gotta, you're not on a Pittsburgh Twitter? No, <laughs> no, I try and steer clear of okay. all things Pittsburgh. Wow. Even Jordan Greer? <laughs> Jordan's all right. <laughs> okay. He's all right. He wears a Celtic sweatshirt every once that's in a while. That's true. He's a, that's the thing. They don't have a basketball team. So. Yeah, so anything is available. But it was uh, Jim Nance. I, and again, I don't necessarily think he's like a Pat's Homer no, a fan not. or anything, but he just, he loves Tom Brady. Like, he respects greatness. Right. And wanted that moment. You know what, though, I have to say about that game? No one died. No one died. No one died. No one died. Pets no lost, but whatever. No one you know, died. that whole, like, I remember like two weeks ago, I feel like the talk started about mm-hmm. the Patriots in December and how, like, they don't lose in December. They just dropped two in a row in right. December. No one's talking about that. Right. Well, no one's talking about them being unstoppable in December. Right. Yeah, but no one died. No one died. No one died. Uh, you think you had something. So I want to talk about Cam's sweep cleats. Okay. So apparently last year, the Saints swept the Panthers. Mm-hmm. Even like, did that include a playoff game? Well? Yeah, I did. So a three-game sweep, right? And I believe someone from the Saints, well, they had brooms in the locker room. Mm-hmm. And then they sent Cam some wine or something. Oof. So apparently he's had the wine in his locker mm-hmm. all year, just wanting to return to sender that. So here's the thing, though. You haven't beat, like this, so this story came up last night. Cam's cleats last night had Mm. like brooms on them. And they had a vineyard promo on the other cleat. And like, my problem with that is beat the Saints once. Yeah. And then break that out. This is number two. Break that out for like the sweeping game. Yeah. Like, first of all, football is all about one game at a time. Right. Right. (laughs) (laughs) One game at a time. You know what? It's about one play at a time. So you're six and seven. You've dropped five in a row. Mm -hmm. And you're out there talking about, you're out there wearing your sweep cleats and talking about returning wine to sender Mm -hmm. when you haven't beaten the 11 and two Saints once yet this year. Once. And you're already talking about, you can't wait couple weeks from now you can return that line in in the superdome yeah maybe he was like they'll have a buy sewn up so they'll play taste yeah, maybe. maybe he realized this would be the only game that matters <laughs> they'll run nothing but taste of hills own reads and we could beat up that game for sure uh, so this is the big one I, cam in a sweet he just uh, that guy every year that guy like that you want to like him right yeah i do i, we do. I do like him right but then he does stuff that yeah. makes it hard yeah yeah, he really does. Did you see the outfit after the game? Yeah. He had the hat. And the pins. Was he at the Hornets game Saturday? Uh, sold my ticket. Wow. I know. Good fan. I feel, no, okay, A, I'm not a fan, but I am an NBA. I'm a, right? I'm a fan of greatness, like right? Jim Nance. You didn't want to see the Lakers? And it's like, I've always been like, when LeBron James is in your town, you have to, like, you have to. You only have X number of chances in your life. Okay. Like, realistic. Like, yeah. theoretically, I could follow them to every <laughs> right. game. But realistically... And I just passed one up okay. for a hundred bucks. You got a hundo for it. Yeah, it's pretty good though. It's pretty good. About fifteen, for, especially about for a fifteen dollar face. Game. Yeah, fourteen face. Okay, with the half season ticket plan. So I don't feel good about it. Did you do it, it for the money, or did you have? Did you watch that Saturday football? Yeah, it was a combo of, of not wanting to leave the leave. What were all these plans you had on Saturday had and Sunday? Plans. A lot of plans, but no, it was a combo of not wanting. To move. Okay. Because as you know. That's classic Latowski. I'm fairly lazy. <laughs> and uh, and also like, I can get a hundred bucks. Huh. What are you going to do with it? Christmas presents? 
Yeah, I got to pay people. Fantas- the fantasy winnings Wait, from our league. You got to sell your ticket. Where's Where's the money we put in? Where'd that go? Oh, boy. Oh boy. I don't, <laughs> don't want to get That's into that. That's not just in an envelope or in a jar somewhere? Old school? It's... It's tied up. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. I was trying to make that. I was trying. Is that to, why you're going to Fargo? You got to get out of I, town for I a couple I was weeks? trying to let that money make money. Gotcha. And it didn't. Okay. So now you got to run to Fargo. So now I have to sell. You got to see some people up tickets, in Fargo to get money. And I got to go to Fargo. Is this a Fargo like? Uh, You've seen the movie. Was it, You've seen the TV the crime show. Syndicate? What was the. Uh, was it the Fargo Crime Syndicate? Is that yeah, what it was called? I'm sure. But there was some sort of, I don't right. know, they had a name. No, I uh, no, I just wanted the money. I actually just recently saw the movie. I saw the mm-hmm. TV show before the movie. Yeah. I thought the TV show was great. Okay, good. Uh, so anyway, that was uh, that. Was that. But yeah, I was, so Cam Sweep Cleats. Those yeah, will probably get, hopefully, like, maybe auctioned All right, so I have a, uh, uh, here's something, something and this, this wasn't what I was doing. Now it's going to sound like this is what I was doing Sunday. Okay. And by the way, I did have that game on, but it was on a second screen muted. So okay. I was, you know, I was watching. Two screens. Yeah. How much are they paying you? Well, that's why I needed that money. <laughs> what that are you second doing screen. Fargo? What's exactly you need that second Fargo? screen. But this is, I don't know how I feel about this. Okay. So the other day, I'm on popular website YouTube. I giga blasted YouTube. Okay. Went there. You don't go straight to YouTube. You giga blasted. I, I, I go through search engines first. I got it. And just you know, you set giga blasted your home screen yet? Yeah, obviously. Cool. I have a I have a you know thing. What's it called? Like a, a, a book extension. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> giga blast extension. Yeah. <laughs> so on your Google, it's just always there. <laughs> yeah. So I go to I just go to YouTube, and you know, right away, right? It's like recommended videos. Yeah. It's all an algorithm. Yeah. And it's usually like, yeah, it's a, that's oh, hey, the latest SNL sketch, or oh, okay. or something about uh, Barry Sanders, or something or, about North Dakota State, right? Or uh, hey, old real the challenge <laughs> clip. Got Want it. a CT, CT greatest fight montage. Got it, got it. So, uh, for some reason, right there, yeah. 19, 1992, putt-putt me golf skins game. <laughs> Between who? I don't remember just, their names. Oh, just random people? Three guys. Okay. Uh, the way the tournament goes is uh, it's, it's two-tie, all-tie. Okay. And it's aces only, thousand okay. dollar a hole. You know, skins work. If if they tie, then thousand bucks carries to the next hole. Okay. Theoretically, the eighteenth hole could be worth eighteen thousand dollars. Right. And I'm like, well, no, is it is it a thousand each? Yeah, a thousand each hole. No, a thousand each person, or is it three? They put in three thirty three a hole. Well, it's not them putting in money. I mean, it's a sponsored oh, event. Oh, okay. Because so I was say it'd be worth really. Right. So it's a thousand bucks each 000. hole. Right. Exactly. But yeah, it's like a sponsored event. It's pro. It's okay. uh, the TV series, Putt Putt. And uh, I'm like, what? Why is this? Like, I've not, there's no reason that should be here right now. Like, okay. I haven't looked up anything about, never mind mini golf, that regular golf. Right. I haven't looked up anything leisure related. Okay. Like, I mean, what would be billiards, darts, bowling, right. ping pong, nothing. Have right? you Googled any of that? Have you the, gigablasted any of that lately? No. The only thing that's even semi close is, one time, uh, early 90s rando sporting event was – Do you, you might remember this. They used to have dunk contests involving p- like prominent athletes from other sports. Okay. Do you yeah. remember that at yeah, all? it's kind of like the Jeep Superstars kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah. And it, but like again, prominent like, – because the reason I think it came up for me was because Barry Sanders was in one. Barry Sanders can dunk? Yeah, which is pretty impressive yeah. for a 5'8 guy. Yeah. Five, I nine. can't dunk, and I'm right. a solid 5'9". Yeah, and you guys are very similar athletes. <laughs> right. So – and so that came up because, of course, I watched Barry Sanders highlights. It makes sense. But the other guys like Ken Griffey Jr. was in it. Yeah. Barry Bonds. Yeah. Like, could you imagine now like a, a team like a Mike Trout yeah. or, or any star athlete? Yeah, would be in the it. team would a team letting someone yeah. do that. Yeah. You know, there's track and field stars. So anyway, that's the only. But that was like a year ago. And you so think that somehow the algorithm picked up that you like 1992 events. I, uh, so I don't know. I don't know what else. Like, yeah, weird, shaky cam, grainy footage. Would you rather? So, so I clicked on it. Okay, you watched. I watched the whole okay. damn thing, and I proceeded to watch the ninety-one <laughs> putt putt <laughs> skins event. And this is why you didn't go to the Laker game. The eighty-nine, <laughs> but but who's in this? Was it real golfers? Yeah, they're pros. No, but no, like, no. Not like, it's they're pro putt putt guys. Oh, uh, okay. These aren't like PGA people. Oh no, these are. You know, they have occupations. Right. Would you pay to watch, or would you watch? Would you rather watch real golfers? 
like Tiger Woods right. and the like, do that, right. or do the Tiger Phil skin oh, thing. Oh, putt putt a million times yeah. over. I'm thinking the zone opportunities here. Yeah, me too. I'm thinking the zone opportunities. Nine ninety nine a month, first month free, cancel any time. Home of Canelo. But the point is this: <laughs> I watched those, and I was like addicted to them, and it was, it was so bad. Yeah, I couldn't take my. But here's the best part. So it was it's ESPN production, right? Or at least the later ones were. So so the early ones weren't, I don't think. The later ones were. But the the lead announcer mm-hmm. was Billy Packer. Oh, wow. <laughs> who at the time had been CBS's like Final Four guy. Yeah, for like 15 years. Yeah. This wasn't the beginning or the end of his career. <laughs> this was, was smack prime. dab in the prime. prime. And Billy Packer was like super into it. Yeah. And he's like, oh, yeah, this is a touch shot. You know, sometimes you want to go for speed. He's, but like, he's like a mini golf guy. It was, it was like, oh, yeah, this is this is the kind of hole where you want to backdoor it. You don't want to you, you can't go straight up and you try to you want to get in there and rock a by right to the so hole. He prepped. Yeah, he prepped. Did he do multiple years? Yes. All right. Well, there you go. It was amazing. I bet. I, I couldn't take... And these guys are really good. <laughs> I bet they were. They're yeah. going for thousands of I mean, dollars. it's aces only, so if you don't get a hole in one, that's just it. pick it up? Do they even finish out the hole? No. They just pick it up. Yeah. Two tie, all tie. Yeah. And... Uh, What's two tie, all tie mean? That means so if two guys get an ace, carry over oh, to the okay. next, so no one wins a thousand that okay. hole. But, yeah. I, I watched like four of them. I like to play a little game like that with bowling. Mm-hmm. We all put money in every, is it every frame? frame. Every frame. Yeah. And strikes strikes take the money. Yeah. And carry over. But I, uh, I was I, I was shocked. Yeah. And these guys. The, Pitch it to the zone. The golfers were uh, golfers. The putters. <laughs> the putters. The putters were uh, cool guys. Listen, <laughs> there are no bad ideas for the zone. We've been told. Well, that's send your, true. Send your that's ideas true. up. Send your ideas but, up. Did you watch the Canelo fight Saturday night? No, I was watching Papa Challenge. <laughs> it's not at eleven thirty. It only took the fight only took twenty minutes. Yeah, no, that's true. It was a quick fight. But anyway, that's not I don't even. know how I feel about that. But I obviously need something to fill the void now that football season's almost over. I and you. I think it's putt putt. Okay, I was going to urge you to check out check out the zone. Check out some cricket, Bellator, some Bellator. boxing. Yeah, yeah, I was into the boxing match yeah. Saturday. Night. It was a little disappointing boxing match, but I was into it. That was quick, but Canelo won, so that's good. Anyway. That's that. That's a lot. That's of a season. Fun. That's a season. That's it. That's how we ended it. <laughs> that's, how we ended. that's how we ended it. And I can't think of a better way. Uh, that's so, a season. No week seventeen podcast. No week seventeen podcast. We will have rankings and whatnot on sportingnews.com slash fantasy for week seventeen. If your league's still going for whatever reason, whether it's real or whether it's some sort of toilet bowl situation, toilet bowl or silly bowl, silly season bowl, whatever. We got you. We got you at least semi covered for that. Definitely DFS stuff because that's still. That matters still, just as much. Right. And we talk might, about silly season. You might want to see what you got in David Williams in week 17. Yeah. I don't maybe, know. Maybe Doug Marone is a DFS guy. Maybe he is. And he's getting ready for David Williams week 17. Might very well be. Mm-hmm. All right. So when are we going to be back? Baseball? We, random topics sometime in we January? Might be. I don't know. Anything? I don't know. Putt-putt. I might do more yeah. on this putt-putt. Are we ever going to see each other again? No. I, I am leaving for like three weeks this on Wednesday. It. So this right, is man. this uh, is it. So it was good season. I feel like I should shake your hand, but that's weird. We don't need to do that. We don't need to do that. There's no cameras. But, uh, yeah, sportingnews.com slash fantasy. We'll, we'll have you covered for the rest of this week with rankings and DFS and injury updates, sleepers bus, and all that good stuff. And like I said, at week 17, we'll have something for you. We'll have something. Then we'll do our way too early 2019 rankings. Get some which, keepers in there. What a loaded first round that's going to be. Yeah. Holy cow. Derrick Henry. Real quick, is, Del- is Delvin Cook a first rounder? I feel he should be, but he can't be. There's just too many Probably guys. Can't be. Too is, many Der- guys. is Derek Henry a second rounder? Yeah. Oh. And I hate every second oh. of it. All right. <laughs> we'll talk about that in the off season. But for 2018, good luck in your Super Bowls. Yeah. Everyone else but us. He's Eric Ferrer. I'm Malatusky. And until next time.